Hello and welcome to our channel Food Tech Insight. In this video, we are going to study on the topic carbohydrates. We are targeting to cover the syllabus of food technology starting with section 1, that is food science and nutrition. This topic will be divided into few parts and each and every concept will be discussed in this channel. In this video, we are going to study about the structure of carbohydrates. So let first start with understanding the definition of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are broadly defined as polyhydroxy, aldehyde or ketones and their derivatives or as substances that yield one of these compounds. It composed of three atoms that is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Along with it contains a functional group that is hydroxyl group that is OH. Any term ends with OAC that is glucose, fructose, galactose indicates that it's a sugar compound. This C double bond O and H this define as aldehyde group whereas C double bond O will define as ketone group. Same is been represented here. Let's see the function of carbohydrate. So it's a major source of energy for the cell. And also, it's a major structural component of plant cell. We get this energy in the form of glucose. And same if the energy is stored in the form of glycogen. Now, let's move to the classification of carbohydrates. So, carbohydrates based on the number of sugar molecules, it defined as monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide and polysaccharide. So, in monosaccharide, only one sugar molecule will be present. Whereas, disaccharide, the dye itself defined two. That means two sugar molecules. If the saccharides contain more than two and up to ten sugar molecules, it terms as oligosaccharides. And beyond ten or more than that, it terms as polysaccharides. Let's see the example of monosaccharides. It's like glucose which just now I have defined it's an energy source for our body along with fructose, galactose. Whereas disaccharides are sucrose, lactose, maltose. Oligosaccharides include raffinose, stachyose. Whereas polysaccharide, starch, glycogen, cellulose. Now next we'll study in depth about this classification of carbohydrates. Let's start with monosaccharides. So as before I am uh, told that it contains only one sugar molecule. So monosaccharides are simple sugars in which there are one oxygen atom and two hydrogens atom. Each carbon atom present in the molecule. The general formula is CH2ON. Monosaccharides are reducing sugar. This term will be defined in the further upcoming videos. This monosaccharides can be classified as triose, tetrose, pentose, hexose. It's all depend on the number of carbons present. If there is a three carbon, we will term as triose. If there is a four carbon, we will term as tetroses. If there are five pentoses, similarly like this. So example of monosaccharide include glyceraldehyde, triose because it contains three carbons, erythrose, ribose, glucose, fructose, galactose. Let's see the structure. Here you can see the, this glucose, fructose, galactose comes under hexose. It means 6 carbon like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And these are the functional group that is hydroxyl group. Along with this comes under aldehyde group. Whereas fructose comes under ketone group. Next is a pentosis based on 5 carbons, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Ribose also comes under 5 carbons. This is an important point. It may come as a one mark question. But the fructose is the sweetest of all the sugar. That is 1.5 times sweet, sweeter than sucrose. So based on the carbon atoms as I told. And we know the formula C. H2 O and right. So if N is 3 means that is 
it comes under triose c n h 2 into 3 is 6 and o 3 so example of triose is glyceraldehyde in in terms of aldoses aldoses means aldehyde group ketosis means ketone group and if it comes in ketosis it's like dehydroxy acetone whereas tetrosose four carbons it will be the formula same c4 h8 o4 and the example in terms of aldehyde is erythrose and thiose whereas ketosis is erythrulose now terms as pentosis that is 5 carbon formula will become C5 H10 O5 and in aldehyde group xylose, ribose, arabinose whereas in ketose group ribulose and in hexosis C6 H12 O6 we know this term as glucose, galactose, mannose whereas in ketone group it will come as fructose. Now next what is disaccharides? Disaccharides are made up of two monosaccharides. Before I told it made up of two sugar molecules joined together by condensation reaction. What is this condensation reaction? The condensation reaction is the joining of two molecules with the formation of new chemical bond and a water molecule is released when the bond is formed. You can see here this is one monosaccharide. This is other monosaccharide. When it comes it bond this water molecule comes out. This bonding and this reaction is known as condensation reaction whereas this linkage is known as glycosidic linkage this is an important point so a glycosidic bond is formed between two monosaccharides if carbon 1 this is if let's say if this is carbon 1 and this is the carbon 4 of this structure so if carbon 1 or one monosaccharide joins to carbon 4 on another monosaccharide then it is called as 1,4 glycosidic bond. So a bond between two monosaccharides or a bond in a carbohydrate of two monosaccharides is known as glycosidic bond. This is the structure. Sucrose it's made up of glucose monosaccharides and fructose monosaccharides whereas lactose is made up of galactose and glucose. These points are important. So you can see here this carbon sink and here got bonded this formed a glycosidic bond and the water will release similarly here so few more mono disaccharides are maltose made from two glucose molecules important point joined together by a glycosidic bond whereas sucrose before only we read it's made up of glucose and fructose and lactose are made up of glucose and galactose this lactose term we will get in milk it's present in milk Polysaccharides. So polysaccharides are polymers formed by combining many monosaccharides that is more than two. Molecules with 3 to 10 sugar unit are known as oligosaccharides which I have defined before while molecules containing 11 or more monosaccharides are true polysaccharides. In real polysaccharides do not taste sweet and because their molecules are so enormous the majority of polysaccharides do not dissolve in water. Polysaccharide made solely from one kind of monosaccharide that are called homopolysaccharides, which I will define now, while those made of more than one monomer are called heteropolysaccharides. From this we can understand polysaccharides, homopolysaccharides and hetero. Homo means a single monosaccharide, like from the glucose, if it is a complete structure is made up of glucose only, from glucose only, so it will term as more homo polysaccharide and if it's a combination of one or more than two monosaccharides then it will come into heteropolysaccharide. So in homopolysaccharide the examples are starch, glycogen, cellulose, inulin, dextrans and chitin. Whereas in hetero agar, mucopolysaccharide. Let's see the structure in cellulose you can see these are the glucose unit. This one first glucose, second, third, fourth and remaining a straight chain it will going on. So this is a homopolysaccharide. Whereas starch you can see the same structure and the glycogen. It's in a con consist of a single monosaccharides. That's why these are termed as a homosaccharides. So now let's see. We know this cellulose, starch and glycogen are polysaccharides and it also considered under homopolysaccharides. 
so sources we'll see cellulose we can get from plant starch amylose and amylopectina there we'll define what is this both of the sources are plant and glycogen it's in animal so subunit definitely one monosaccharide that is beta glucose entire starch unit is made up of alpha glucose and glycogen is also made up of alpha glucose so single monosaccharide is being used in the structure of the starch cellulose and glycogen that's why they are known as homopolysaccharide the bonds are one and four what does it mean it's like the first carbon uh, our first structure of one number carbon and the second of fourth carbon is been forming a glycosidic linkage that's why one by one four glycosidic lin linkage is being formed but in amylopectin one four and one six why one four is a linear linkage one six is the branched form similarly in glycogen so branches no in cellulose in amylose also no but in amylopectin it consists of a branch that is one six glycosidic linkage and per 20 subunits similarly in glycogen per 10 subunits so in diagram you can see it's a linear this is also a linear but here it consists of a branch that is one six glycosidic linkage and similar in here you can see the structure or shape so starch is made up of long chains of alpha glucose that is amylose and amylopectin starch is the main energy storage material in plants so amylose we understand that it's a linear glucose structure whereas amylopectin is a branched one glycogen is made up of alpha glucose linked together by glycosidic bond glycogen is the main energy storage material in animals whereas cellulose is also made of many beta glucose molecule linked by glycosidic bond between carbon 1 and carbon 4 Cellulose is the major component of cell walls in plants. And how do we taste starch? The one of the method for tasting the starch is the iodine test. So, for this video, this much only we are going to understand. In the next video, we will study the functions of the carbohydrate. That is the second part of the carbohydrate topic. Thank you. And if you have any query, do comment us. Or you can directly mail us in foodtechinsight at the rate gmail.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. Thank you.